Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Ratchet and Clank, episode number three. This might look familiar. It's the exact place that we left, we started the last episode from. Hey, we're back! <laughs> Alright, so it's been a couple days since I played, as usual. Um, oh god, about to die. So if you jump in those, uh, jump in the little brown goo, like three times you die. Excuse me. So, you're gonna have to bear with me for just a little bit while I re, 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 re remember the controls. <laughs> Whoop, just excuse me. Because, yeah, uh, I wanna say there's like a secret co uh, gold bolt around here. Let me see. Nope. Nope. Maybe I'm losing my mind. I could have sworn there was one around here, though. Excuse me. Let's do. Let's just use the blaster. Be done with this. All right. So, if you remember from the last episode that we had uh, gone to Planet Kerwin for a little bit, um, we got the slingshot, so that allows us to go on the uh, the uh, other side of this level here. Whoa. And not the slingshot. It's the swing shot. Excuse me. I need to make sure that I'm correct every time that I say something. It's very important. Uh, but anyways. So nice to be back playing these games again. I love it. These put a smile on my face. Because sometimes when I do my backlog series, it can get a little frustrating. Um, get a little irritating. Uh, mostly because it's games that I've never played before. And anyone who's ever jumped into a game the first time, there's going to be moments like that. Because you're inexperienced with the game, you don't really understand it, and well, that's just how it goes. So then when I jump into games like this, games that I played and games that I love and like enjoy, it kind of it's it's so much more relaxing. I mean, at least for me, when I go and edit videos, I can definitely tell a difference between how I am. Tell me this long to teach me how to control the camera. I was like, I can definitely tell the difference between me when I do these videos and me when I do the uh, Backlog series. It's a little bit different me. Whee! That version of me might run together when I start dying, but... So far, so good. Oh, this, this is gonna hurt. Whee! Swing shot. So much fun. Excuse me! <laughs> Alright, let's get back over this one and get those bolts. All four of them. Hey, every bolt- I just about died. <laughs> every bolt counts. Even if it's just a little bit. You need them. Especially if you want to get the Rhino, which is like the most powerful weapon in the game. Uh, okay, we gotta go this way. Gotta get that infobot up this way and up to the right. Alright, we got some swings. Whee! Bam. So this series, this this like might not take very long. It'll probably be the same amount of time as the last one. Oh, here we go. New weapon. No, it's not a weapon, actually. Using the latest in precision laser technology, the Gadgetron Trespasser is guaranteed to work on Gadgetron's line of Invinso lock security doors. So this thing basically just a lot allows you to get into secret doors. Or doors that you otherwise would not have been able to get into. Lasers are mounted on each ring of the Invinso lock. Aim the lasers at the receptors on the outside ring to turn them green. All receptors These are always pretty simple. You just want to get all the lasers into all the beam, all the green areas, and then boom, you're through. All right, let's get the blaster back out. There should be an info bot right up here. Oh, I don't actually. I don't think there's an info bot on this level. No, there isn't. Not on this part. We've already gotten the one from this level. We have to go ahead and get the hoverboard. Whee! Oh, I'm gonna die. Whee! 
Yep. Yeah, oh, oh, thought I was dead. <laughs> Not jumping back in there. I know I said collect all the bolts, but I, I you know, I ain't doing that. I, I ain't doing that, man. Alright, let's get on out of here. We're gonna go to the uh, brand new planet next. Excuse me. So the next planet, it's, uh, it's, about, it's pretty much to me when the game kind of really begins. This is the first, like, somewhat, even though it's not really challenging, it's the first, like, some level that you kind of have to be on your nose. So, these first few levels, these are all kind of basic introductory levels where you should never die. But the next one, it's a little bit different. So let's go. Going to Log and Sight Yodora. Yes, quite lovely. That should just about do it. Commander, we are finished with this world. Commence towing our planet to its next destination. Lieutenant! Yes, sir. You have fulfilled your tree quota. Barely. We are ready to return to base. Not so fast, Lieutenant. Just because we don't need any more trees doesn't mean they should have them. Destroy everything. <laughs> Oh, Chairman Drake, you're a piece of shit. Stupid Drake. Alright, here we are. Eudora. I like this level, actually. This is one of my favorites. In this game, anyway. The, the planets and stuff get so much better, especially when you to ratchet and clank um, up your arsenal is probably my favorite. Um, that's the third one. We'll do that a little bit later. Antron Vendor, we need to I got max out my ammo for you today. Yep, we can get a glove of doom here soon. That's a fun weapon to have. Don't really get much ammo with it, but it's a pretty awesome weapon. We don't have anywhere near enough pulse to. Okay, let's go over this way first. Take these bad boys out. Excuse me. Alright, woo! Actually, there was actually zero reason to go over there. So, I remember one of the skill points that you get, which are kind of like secret. I don't know. They are pretty much trophies, but they're, I don't remember what exactly what the skill points are for, but... Um, you basically have to shoot all of these flying robots down. So once you do that, you get one. That's, that's one I do remember. Oh! Let's turn the screw! <laughs> and that's why his weapon's a wrench. So you can do that. Over this way. Whoop. Hopefully, I'll get enough bolts in this level so I can get the Club of Doom. It's a pretty hilarious weapon, actually. <laughs> it's the one that I remember, anyways. But yeah, like, it's been a couple years since I played this game. So. And I believe there's four of these little screws we gotta turn here. This is just a free, some extra bolts and whatnot. Every bolt counts. Make a t-shirt that says that or something. All right, down we go. Take him out. So another like really big difference between this series and or, yeah, it's really this series. This the the Ratchet and Clank series in general, and um, Jack and Daxter. Uh, this series kind of kind of kept true to its roots. They don't really change. They changed a lot of the gameplay mechanics. I mean, a lot of different modes and whatnot throughout the game, but the core gameplay pretty much remains the same throughout all the games. Whereas 
Uh, Jack and Daxter, when we get to Jack 2, like, you will definitely see it's it's so much different than Jack 1. Um, so different. Um, and Sly Cooper, which we're going to get to next, um, you'll notice that a difference too, that um, how everything is set up, it, it changes a lot from game to game. But this one, on the other hand, this is pretty consistent. So one game's going to feel like the next, which is going to feel like the next. Which is not, it shouldn't get boring by any means. Um, this, because the gameplay in these games is so much fun, and the, the different uh, ways they kind of change around how the game plays uh, make it more fun. And that's probably the reason why a series like this has been around for, what, eight games? Seven games? Nine games? I'm not really sure. Somewhere around that amount this series has been around for. Collect the boats. Maybe it's just me, but playing game, playing this game makes me want to like go out and play with screws. No, that's not that's not what we're looking for. Go out and just you know screw some things in, blow yourself up with TNT crates. You know things like that. It's pretty fun. <laughs> All right. Whoa! No! 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 no. This way, because I believe there's one more. Ah, this guy's are irritating. Most because they just take a couple hits. See, I look, I'm already about out of ammo. I wasn't lying when I said earlier in the series that you do run out of ammo very, very quickly, so you do have to manage your weapons. You can't just really run around with one. Even though the blaster to me is by far my favorite, and it's one I'm going to use the most, you'll probably see that. You'll see it more than probably any other weapon in the game by a long time. But. We need to get up top there. Let's see if I can just... Yes, yes you can. Excuse me. I don't believe there's any other, any other point to get up here other than to grab some more bolts. So that's all we're gonna do. Oh yeah, get these crates. So my thing, I think for the RFG series that we're going with, I think I'm going to keep continuing. Like I said, I've said in the past, we're going to do all the platformers. That is a guarantee that will be done for. Um, after that, uh, I want to kind of, I definitely don't want to do a platformer for quite a while. Um, there's a couple other ones that I want to get to, but we're going to get away from that. And we're still pretty far away away before I even get to that point, so... Oh yeah, we gotta fly over this way. Like I said, we're pretty far away from getting to that point, but when we get there, it's gonna probably be an RPG, I'm thinking, next. Oh yeah, we're getting Glove of Doom ammo, we don't have a Glove of Doom. Definitely more than likely an RPG next. Uh, something that I can really take my time with put out multiple multiple parts that way I can get through I can spend a lot of time getting my backlog down because Shadow of the Colossus really took it out of me um, it was a game at time that I times that I loved and games at a time game at times that drove me crazy to record and film just because I knew some of the fights were gonna take a long long time I knew I was gonna get frustrated and irritated I knew it was gonna be a lot of editing to We gotta go this way. Woo! Kill them all! Duh! Such a good sound for the blaster, too. I'm a big fan of it. <laughs> Alright, almost got enough of that Club of Doom. You'll also notice as, as we go to the, the higher, higher levels, each of the bolts are, are worth more. So you're not just collecting one at a time. Eventually they'll start to be worth, worth like five or six or ten or fifteen. Or... Oh, we got the vacuum one next. 
I'm not really a fan of this gun. I don't use it very much. But, you know, just for show, I'll, I'll use it for a little bit so you guys can see what it does. Gadgetron's suck cannon can vacuum up multiple enemies. Fire them out as high caliber missiles. Caution, enemies must be small enough to fit inside the barrel. Alright, so basically, this thing does is it takes, you know, enemies, especially small ones. Um, whoa. So, like this guy, for example. I get, so, basically, I suck him up, a meteor fills up. And when I get to about five of them, I can just launch them all back at the enemy. Oh, yeah, there's my first death. <laughs> Damn it. It's all good. Ah, uh, I believe there's some door. I have to unlock that somehow. I don't remember where that entrance that is. Something that I missed, though. Ah, this is it right here. This is where you're supposed to go. That's where you come out. Oh, click. Flip the trespasser. Let's do this real fast. Oh, this part is confusing. Oh no, I'm, I'm I died again. Damn it! Ah! Oh, good thing is I did keep my trespass. I don't have to do that again. All right, let's not run off the cliff and then hit it. Jump! There you go. Over this way, and then screw this in, and then swing shot out, and then over here, and then screw this one in. Oh, oh shit! I think <laughs> did screw it in all the way. All right, almost. There we go. Ah, so there's a, there's a little bit more platforming than I remember in this game. That's always a good thing. To me, to me, this game, these games are definitely more action based though. Oh, I thought was, thought I wasn't gonna make it there for a second. All right, I believe this is where the info bot is. So as you can tell, these guys, these things kind of get progressively harder. Yeah, they need to go there. This one can go... Yep, there we go. Got it. <laughs> Go ahead and blow these up. Gotta remember, I gotta use the suck cannon. Hey, Lieutenant, how you doing? You sure showed him. I suppose I did. Is your current occupation leaving a rotten taste in your mouth? Then you need to know about BTS, Blog Tactical Research Station. Hi, I'm Supreme Executive Chairman Drek, and we here at BTS are seeking motivated individuals to fill positions in these exciting careers. Grind boot tester, warhead assembly technician, mutant animal husbandry, robot repair man, suck cannon test dummy, and administrative assistant. So call BTS. Build our weapons while you build your future. I'm calling BTS today. 
Now we're talking. Did you see all the cool gadgets they're making? Let's go get some. No, we must continue our search for Captain Quark. You're absolutely right. I am? Sure. We need to find Quark. Although when we find him, wouldn't it be nice to be able to tell him where Chairman Drek is? I suppose. Well, we go to the space station and talk to the scientists. They work for Drek, so they're bound to know where he is. I am unsure about your logic. Ah, uh, you think too much. Come on, let's go. I love all the infomercials for their products and whatnot. It's pretty. <laughs> it cracks me up, man. Woohoo! Collect the bolts. Alright, so we're gonna be off to a new planet. I don't. Did I get enough to get the Glove of Doom? I, I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, I did. Alright, so we'll go ahead and pick up the Glove of Doom. Um. Just got enough. We'll show off these weapons on the next plane. Alright, let's go! Alright, Clark Station Nebula. Alright guys, this is where we're going to end. Uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. It uh, should be out tomorrow. Uh, as long as nothing crazy happens. But anyways, you guys take care. Take it easy. Catch you later. Ah.